Welcome everyone. Day 13 of the 21 day series Cryptocurrency Consciousness. I appreciate all your feedback that I've been receiving. Thank you very much. I've been receiving also a lot of emails asking me of what I think about a certain cryptocurrency project, technology, token, coin. But my intention for these 21 day series is to offer the guidance of how to discern for yourself. For whether I agree or not agree, I am not you. We are all here with a unique, a unique calling, a, new, a unique agreement of why we are here. What might be interesting to me might not be interesting to you. And this is what I'd like to talk about today is processing information. You, that high level of consciousness being, processing information. What are you attracted to? What is calling you to put full focused attention on? And the beauty about blockchain, that all information will be stored on the blockchain, all of it. And while you're researching and delving into it, how are you going to process all of it? Not all of it is interesting to you. Not all of it will be benefiting to you. Not all of it needs to occupy all of your awareness. You have better things to do. And this is how I've begun to envision how I process information. I've drawn something, I'll show it to you now. But I've come to discern to such a degree that I will not allow myself to be inundated by every little thing that comes on just because it says blockchain or cryptocurrency on it. Not all information. Things are attracted to you by the way you're feeling. And because I feel like a child in a candy store that I've just popped into a parallel reality where everything is brand new and I can get to pick and choose and everything and see where my attention gets ignited where my heart starts to see things and say, oh, I'd like to envision that. Yes, I'd like a bit of that. Yes, I'd like a bit of that. But it's a processing mechanism. And today I saw a picture, a vision of how it is so that I am processing information. And I'm going to share with you. I did a, a, a rough, um, I don't know if you can see it. This is my drawing. So I process information like so. Information comes in. And if it gives me my heart, my heart actually feels some sort of excitement, well, then it goes down to that area. If I get no reaction or I get a bad reaction that I don't even want to spend another two minutes on it, all of a sudden I just fall it into this infinite pit. There's no emotion or there's some negative emotion about it. I no longer give my attention or awareness to it at all. So what do I give attention to is basically will be my reality because my heart wants to give attention to it. So that's how I sort of see how I process information. I don't start arguing with the information that made me feel negative emotion or no emotion at all. Mm, did I miss something? I don't doubt myself anymore. End of story, period. I have now, I now give myself that knowing that if it feels off, I'm trusting it. I know that I don't want to know anything about it. And if I feel good about it, there's something that just pulls me to carry on reading about it. And so, so I know that I'm interested. But if it feels, you've got to trust that. That's exactly what I was talking about from day one. Discerning and processing information has no room. If you still doubt yourself, you won't be able to master this, this processing discernment part. Because if doubt's in the way, you're just going to be veiled and foggy and, 
and feeling all sorts of different emotions. This is the, I'm talking about clarity here. It's very important that you know how to process information because otherwise you're going to feel overwhelmed and you're not going to enjoy this whole exploration, this whole new earth, this whole new environment of what is being presented here for us. So align, focus, and just put on heart attention. The heart gets to choose first. And if the heart has chosen first and gives you something to say, mm, I like this, this is something I'd like to put in my reality vision. Okay, the mind, engage here, carry on reading. Carry on reading, yes, yes, heart is still on, heart is still on. I get to a point, mm, something feels off, move it across side, down to the pit, no more attention to it. Don't need to put any resistance, don't need to argue with it, don't need to email ref, don't need to email anyone. What do you think about it? Ah, I trust my own guidance. And if by the end of the research that you've researched it to such an extent and your heart is still on and you'd like to talk about it because the more you talk about it, the vision gets bigger and bigger and bigger, find your best buddy, find someone that has your same interest that wants to discussing I've got Marie we talk about it now I've got a nice group of um, people that are interested in cryptocurrency and we share but I share because my heart was in it okay so for now I've shared with you already a web browser that's decentralized on blockchain called brave and I've shared my referral link. I'll put it in this video as well at the end in the comments. I've shared with you also a social media platform to substitute things like Facebook or Instagram. It's called minds.com. And I've shared, I've put my referral link at the bottom of this one as well. If you haven't already seen it, I'm in there. Um, let's, let's meet when you're in there. Then I've also shared Oh, yes, it came to me. Library.tv, where I'm sharing all of my videos. And I've already shared that referral link, but I'll put it in the bottom of these comments as well. So, a decentralized platform that substitutes YouTube, a decentralized platform that substitutes Facebook, which is called Minds, and a decentralized platform to substitute your web browser, which is Brave. So the last one I'd like to share with you is what do you use so often? Your search engine. So there is a decentralized on blockchain called PreSearch, and you can install it on your Brave. And guess what? You'll be um, accumulating every single time you search, you get to acquire Pre, which is a token. So now you'll just by having those four platforms, you'll be earning bat lbc's pre and um more bat so you see just by the normal things that you'll be using you get you get to earn without even realizing because you're actually using it this makes you think about it the more you've been doing all along on your computer someone's been benefiting from that data and it wasn't you until now blockchain isn't something that's given you the opportunity to wake up. You woke up and this opportunity came out so you can see what's been happening. I hope you feel empowered. But if you work a lot on the computer every single day, you can start measuring. By the time you've, you've seen how many rewards you're getting just by doing your common day, your routine, and how many cryptocurrency tokens and coins you've accumulated in one day and you multiply that by 30 in a month and then you multiply that by 12. How effortlessly is it to just create abundance by not even physically getting up from your chair? This is, and there's no effort in it, it just happens because you're giving your attention to something. So, Go and read the comments below this video.
click on all my referrals, see if you've already um, uh, earned your rewards and just start exploring. I'll also put a link to give you some description all about pre-search and how it's and how it's going to be beneficial as a de decentralized platform. I love you all so very much. I shall see you again tomorrow.